Hey guys, just wanted to give you a bit of a uh, preface to this video. So, when I was going to school at Savannah College of Art and Design, I took a class called Character Design and Storyboarding for Animation. This was like a 10-week course, and I remember at least two of the big assignments, which really like spanned out to three or four weeks of work, was creating stuff for the Adventure Time universe. One of these was writing and storyboarding a scene as if we were writing a new Adventure Time episode. And this scene had to include three things. A sparring scene between Finn and Jake. Jake trying to pry it out of Finn that he has a crush on Princess Bubblegum. And a fart joke. Yep. And just so you know, when we got these assignments, I hadn't watched a single episode of the show. We were required to, to watch some to get an idea of how the characters speak and how the world works. It was a little too weird for me, to be honest. Uh, I might go back to it someday. I don't know. But I'm just saying all this because I'm not sure if I wrote the characters quite uh, show accurate. But I guess I'll leave that up to you guys. Roll film. Okay, so we start in the land of Ooh. It's a beautiful and idealistic day. We get a shot of the nice burning sun. And all of a sudden, here comes Finn. Yeah! Very kung fu style. He flies towards the camera with the stick. We see that he's fighting Jake, but Jake is not very impressed. In fact, he looks a little befuddled by this. He just kind of casually steps to the side and allows Finn to just pfft, right in the grass. But he's back up right away, and they start battling their way up this cliff, kind of slowly going up there. And as Finn is kind of jabbing at Jake, he, Jake is just kind of sidestepping very casually. Doesn't take much effort. In fact, he's getting a little annoyed by how easy this is. And Finn's there. <laughs> Seems to be wearing out very easily today. Jake says, doesn't that pack ever get heavy? Huh. Nope. Ah! He keeps on fighting. Jake says, uh, dude, are you okay? Wait. Does this have anything to do with last night? You know, the toxic Clyde koala battle? Finn says, I'm fine, and no... And I thought we agreed never to speak about that again. Never again. <laughs> Jake says, you went all googly-eyed when Princess Bubblegum took him out with her new weapon. I, I was admiring it. The algebraic electromagnetic burrito blaster is, you know, mathematical. A masterpiece from her beautiful, beautiful hands. And Jake's wise to this, says, oh... So, you like, like her, like Princess of a Bubble Bubblegum? What? I, I do not. We're just friends. Denial is more than just my old high school kleptomaniac gerbil lady friend, bro. Shut up and swing. Ha 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 Dick says, okay, I didn't want to have to do this. And he knocks the stick out of Finn's hand, and he grabs Finn, and he starts running forward, and he goes running off the edge of the cliff, or not quite off the edge of the cliff, but he hangs Finn off the edge of the cliff. And Finn starts freaking, ah, Jake, what the heck, man? But Jake's rather calm. So, You're a stinky liar, you know. Seriously. And Finn looks down at the water below him. Whatever you do, don't sneeze. He's afraid of being let go. Jake says, uh-oh, I feel one coming on. Don't you toy with me. It's crawling on up. Look what you just, ah, okay, okay, yes. I like Princess Bubblegum. Jake says, nope, still coming. It's a love. I love her, okay? Buries his face in his hands. Uh, embarrassing. Then he pauses and looks up and goes, huh, did you hear that? Did you hear me, world? I can hide it no longer. Let the land and sea know that I, Finn the Adventurer, I love Princess Bubblegum. We get a big dramatic pan back from the cliff, and whoop, up pops the horse. We cut back to Finn. He is very relaxed. It's a great weight off his shoulders. Jake says, how's that feel, bro? Awesome. He gives him a little thumbs up. It's a pause. Then Jake just drops him. Ah! And psh, he lands in the water. Cut to later. They're hanging out. By the Sure. Finn stretches and says, ah, that felt good. 
Sometimes all you need is a clear conscience and a death-defying drop to make you feel like a whole new man. Thanks, bro. Jake says, homies help homies, homie. Finn takes a deep breath. Huh. So, no sneeze? There it is. <laughs>